Hello everyone, photographer Ronix from Ronix Photography and in this tutorial today I want to show you guys how to create highly realistic lipstick in Photoshop. So this tutorial is basically how you can create highly realistic and natural looking lipstick in Photoshop using very very few steps and this tutorial is going to be uh, less than 10 minutes. So we are going to start and kick in and we start learning about that beautiful and wonderful technique of creating that lipstick in just Photoshop. So you're just going to become makeup makeup artist for less than 10 minutes. So I want to change the lipstick color from uh, this to this in just a bit. You can see before and after. We can still have the details and the highlights. And this really looks nice and natural to the eyes. So you're going to we are going to come and delete that. Then get our pen tool. This is the pen tool zoom in a little bit and now make a selection so we're going to make a selection by clicking down and moving until we select the outlines of the lips so just going to make those tiny tiny points like that continue making those uh, tiny points on the outlines uh, of uh, the lip area so like that so you're just going to come and you're going to apply that and continue making those points. So uh, you, ha you really have to be careful while you're trying to make these uh, selections onto the lip area because uh, we don't want to apply lipstick in a uh, wrong area. So you have to be careful while you're making these, uh, these points or making these selections on the lip area so just come and continue uh, doing so onto uh, the lip area so I hope we have made the mistake so click ctrl or command z to undo that so just come and uh, make points like that onto the area we want to apply the lipstick so like that I don't know why we are just doing uh, mistakes and I'm not a pro using uh, the pen tool so just uh, be careful while you're making these uh, selections so you can see why it shows us the minus and plus sign so every time we uh, make that area error sorry you really have to come back and undo by clicking ctrl or command z and you can just come and uh, make selections i hope you guys can notice uh, how we are just struggling that's why we, uh, we really have to uh, make those fine selections so you have to take your time while you're doing these uh, selections because you don't want to mess up after we have uh, applied the lipstick onto uh, the image so after you have selected that area right click and click on uh, make selection feathering five pixels make sure and alias is selected and you're on the new selection option click ok on the keyboard so you can see we have just made uh, that selection around the lip area so after we have done so we are going to look for a lip color we want to apply onto the image and in order to do that, come under the adjustments and click on solid color. So when you click on solid color, you see uh, that is the selection we had. So we want to look for an area or the color that is going to be or work perfectly for our image. So we're going to go for a bright red color. Click OK. Change the blending mode from normal to uh, multiply. I think that is fine. And after doing so, we want to make sure that this is uh, really uh, a fine selection and we want to fine tune that even more. And in order to do that, we want to blend or bring back the beautiful highlights or the shiny part because lips are not always having those dark tones. Lips always have those beautiful highlights on to maybe the lower lip and some parts of uh, the upper lip. Like you can see in the before image, we have uh, these 
beautiful highlights and the beautiful highlights on the lower lip and maybe on the edges of all the corners of the lips so we just we are just going to activate that then come under the blending mode and double click or double tap right here or you can just right click and click on blending options so we want to make sure we refine that into a better and better selection so i'm going to move this so that you can see that so we're going to move this towards uh, the right hand side these two boxes of uh, the blended underlying layer move them until you see those beautiful highlights we want to regain back so i think that is fine so we want to refine this because at uh, this kind of uh, look rough to me so we're just going to move them slightly even more because we want to regain back the beautiful highlights even on top so hold down the alternate key or the alternate button on the keyboard and uh, split these two triangles until you see uh, the blending lo looking really nice and perfect so like that and move this towards this side until it is really looking nice and perfect so click ok on the keyboard so let's see the before and after for this uh, selection so that's the before after before after we can still uh, we can still see the beautiful and beautiful highlights still regained into this image and you can also see uh, the beautiful shadows that have been uh, created into this image by using the blend if option so that's the before after before after and uh, this kind of uh, really looks natural to me so the other thing i have to share with you guys you can always change uh, the lip color by just dou double tapping right there and you can I look for a color of your choice and that will be working best for you guys I think I prefer this looks nice so you can look for a very very nice color that you want your lipstick or your lips to look like or your favorite uh, your favorite lipstick color for your image or for your model you're trying to create that lipstick on so just come and click OK and now you can see the before after before after this really looks nice and more realistic so uh, and, if, and if at all you would like to uh, maybe preview or go back through the steps we use for this image we selected the lip area or the outlines using the pen tool in Photoshop and after we had done so we came under the solid color and we created the color we want the lipstick to look after doing so we came under the blending mode and we changed it from uh, mouth, normal to multiply like that then after we had done so we double tapped or double clicked right here so after doing so we wanted to refine or get back these beautiful highlights details and shadows for the image and we use the blend if option to bring back the beautiful highlights shadows and the beautiful uh, maybe details on the lip area so if at all you love this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give me feedback in the comment se section i know i have really suffered trying to select the uh, lips because i think this is the first time or maybe a second time i've used the pen tool for making selections on the lip area so maybe you can advise me on maybe a better tutorial I could you could recommend for me to watch and learn so that I can be a professional trying to select particular areas the next time I'm doing a tutorial so this is all about learning so I learn from you guys and you also learn from my tutorial so this has been a tutorial about how to create highly realistic lipstick in Photoshop and if at all you love this, don't forget to like this video, drop a comment in the comment section, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell when you do subscribe to this channel and keep on learning so that you don't miss out every time we upload onto this channel. I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and don't forget to keep creating.